The first thing you notice when you open up NanoCAD 10 is the new user interface elements. The most prominent one here is the ribbon with its tabs and its panels. Just above the ribbon is the quick access toolbar and this has the most frequently used commands like saving, opening files, undoing and printing. The number 10 here is the version number but it hides the file menu where you can access recent files, start new files, import and access the options dialog box. If you like the old user interface, no problem. You just come over here and click this button. It turns off the ribbon and it goes back to the previous user interface with the menu bar and toolbars. Now in the drawing area, there's two new user face elements. To show them, let me first switch to a 3D drawing. This here is called the locator and it lets you instantly change the 3D viewpoint. So the orange dot indicates where it's currently set. If you click in the middle, you get the top view. If you click any of these circles, you get sides, front. When you click on these quadrants in the corners, you get isometric views. And then finally, these give you the bottom views if you want to see your model from underneath. Over here, this control does much the same thing. It lets you access the top and other views. The control next to it lets you change the visual style. So here we have garage shaded, but we can go to say flat shaded with edges or 3D wireframe. This third control here toggles these two, the view control, which are these three buttons, or the locator, which is this circle over here. An important aspect of CAD is to be able to read drawings from other systems. And so here, NanoCAD 10 supports three new formats, MicroStation DGN, Windows Metafile, and Enhanced Metafile. These two are usually used with graphics, not with CAD, but MicroStation DGN is very important because it's a very popular program in plant design and roadway design. So when you open up a drawing, let's pick this one, click open, and there it is. This drawing is courtesy of QCAD. It is inserted as a block. If you want to edit it, you can enter the explode command, which then lets you work with individual entities. NanoCAD 10 comes with a number of new commands. The most significant one is multi-leader. It even comes with its own toolbar, which gives you an overview of what the new commands are. Multi-leader creates them. This button adds arrowheads, so let me show you how that works. Select a multi-leader, and then location. Press enter to end. Then this button removes multi-leaders, such as that one. You can use grips editing to edit the multi-leaders. So here I'm moving this arrowhead up to here or move the entire portion over to there. NanoCAD 10 comes with several more new commands. One of them is 3D Poly for creating polylines in 3D space. The region command creates 2D ACES entities. The standards and check standards commands make sure that drawings follow the standards of your office or of clients. Tables can now be AutoCAD style without needing to convert them. Stretch command allows you to pre-select entities before stretching them, and layers now have transparency. NanoCAD 10 fully supports the grips that are found on dynamic blocks. So for example, here's a grip that changes the length of the object. This one changes the thickness of the walls. This grip changes the position and this script selects the standard size from a table. When it comes to saving drawings, the default is to save them as DWG 2018 files, both in saving them and opening them. You can change the default through the options dialog box by going to save documents and then choose a different format. As well, automatic saves are much faster now because only changes to the drawing are saved rather than the entire drawing each time. Mm -hmm.